In this video, I'm going to explain the framework I use to make one decision now to remove a thousand decisions in the future so you can clear your mind and just start automating decisions. There's nothing worse than having to make decision after decision after decision, like when someone's saying, I don't know, you make this decision, or I don't know, I don't want to do that, what do you want to do? People just ask questions and they can't make decisions. There's nothing more annoying when you constantly have to do that again and again and again. That same thing happens within your life of, what should I eat? What should I do on the weekend? What should I wear? All these little decisions compound and add up and they just drain your energy. You don't really realize it because it's happening again and again every day. But what you can do is really make one decision that lasts a long time. And so when you start doing this, you've got more energy throughout the whole day that you can focus on the things that you really want to focus and put your attention on. Because you don't have to think about all these other things that are draining you when you get home from work because you've got so much fatigue making so many decisions throughout the day. So these long-term decisions that you can make one time have got what's called a long half-life. So a half-life is how long it takes for the effectiveness of the drug to drop by half. So if you give someone a drug and the effectiveness drops by half within a second, then you're gonna keep having to give people more and more and more of that drug to make sure it's effective. Whereas if you give someone a drug and their half-life is a few days, you only have to give them that drug. You know, every few days, not that often. So it's much more effective to give someone a drug that's got a long half-life. Same thing with our decisions. It's gonna be draining and annoying. If you make a decision once and the half-life's only a few seconds, then you have to make this decision again, and then again, and again, and again. Rather, we wanna try and extend the half-life, how long it takes for us to go from one decision the next decision and this really comes down to effective decision making and the best wealthiest people in the world are really effective decision makers people like Warren Buffett and Ray Dalio they've been able to make decisions once and they've been able to reap the rewards of the decisions for decades and that's what we want to try and get to and so the first part of the framework is identifying what decisions you constantly make throughout the day and the week and the months things like what do you do when you wake up What's your morning routine? What are you wearing? What food do you eat? What do you drink? What do you do for work? What tasks do you do within your work? What social media channels and people do you listen to? You're gonna be constantly making these sorts of decisions throughout the day, throughout your week, over and over and over again. And you're gonna get decision fatigue. First one, identify what decisions do we make throughout the day? And so I just got a, out a piece of paper and a pen and just wrote, and carried it with me. And from the moment I woke up, I was just writing every decision I was making and you create a whole long, long, long list. But then you can start to identify areas where you can start to automate and make one decision that'll remove a thousand other decisions. So the way I was able to do this is I got the list and then I created I only or I don't statements. So say for instance, drinking alcohol, I say I don't drink alcohol, that removes a thousand other decisions of what type of alcohol do I drink, when do, do I drink it? When do I not drink it? All those decisions are removed because I just have one decision of I don't drink alcohol. Same thing for I only statements. Well, I'll say I only wear these clothes. I only eat these types of foods. I only drink water. When you create these I only statements, you kind of limit all the other decisions and you focus on one decision and you stick with it. So I started creating these I only or I don't statements by going through my list of what decisions I make through the day and through the week and I created I only statements, so you're making one decision now, that's gonna remove a thousand other decisions that you've been making every single day, every single week, every hour, and it's gonna only focus on those one important decision that you made right then and now. So I've been doing this for my diet, I only eat the same thing. I don't eat breakfast anymore. I only eat the same thing for lunch and dinner, which is just a chicken salad, and I only drink water. I go to the bed at the same time every single night. I only consume certain types of content, which is books and podcasts. And then I even figured out what tasks to prioritize at work. So to summarize that framework, figure out what decisions you're making throughout the day constantly. Start with things like, what do you eat? What do you wear? What things do you do for work? What content do you consume? What time you go to bed? Those are some important things that you can't constantly making decisions about. And then try and figure out what are the smaller ones, like what do you do on the weekend? What tasks do you do at work? And try and create some I don't statements as well to remove any decisions in the future. Because think about it like this, if you can make a decision once that you make three times a day, 
that same decision. Like food, for instance, what you're gonna eat for food, that's something, a decision you make three times a day. If you make a decision once, you've removed a thousand decisions over that year. If you do three times 365, there's over a thousand decisions in a year you make just on what you eat. And if you can make that decision once, you've removed a thousand other decisions that you're gonna have throughout the year. That can increase your mental clarity and your bandwidth that you can make more important decisions on. That's how powerful this is. Now there's one decision that I wish I'd made earlier and I'd been procrastinating on it for years. And once I actually started making the decision, I'd built so much confidence in myself, which you aren't able to experience unless you actually make the decision. And that's being creating content, posting videos on social media. So if you've been procrastinating on that decision of posting your first video online, click the first link in the description where I can take you through and hold you accountable to making your first video and posting it. And then I'll give you the systems and habit trackers I use to consistently make content